To use two-way communication on the PowerScan Mobile 8000 series scanners, first you need to enable the feature by scanning on page 131 of the reference manual, enter configuration at the top left corner. Then scan two ways under transmission mode. Finally, scan exit and save configuration at the top right corner. Using a terminal emulation program such as Comtest Serial, make sure your scanner is connected. You can only use two ways communication in RS-232 and USB COM interfaces. How you send commands to the scanner is important. Each scan will require a response from the host or the scanner will sound an error beep. Here is a sample string that is comprised of a simple message followed by a carriage return. Now when a scanner scans a barcode, the host must send a command such as this to the scanner. Here's what it looks like on a display unit. Here's what it looks like when a response is not received. If you want to use address stamping, go to page 79 of the reference manual. Scan enter configuration at the top left corner. Then scan enable reader address stamping. Next, scan enable reader address delimiter and select characters. We now must scan from the hex numeric table in the back of the manual. We need to scan the ASCII value in hexadecimal for the character we want as a delimiter. In this case, we will scan 4 then 0. This will give us an ampersand as our delimiter. Let's now test this in the terminal emulation program. Notice the command we will send after each scan. It must have the radio address for the scanner and the delimiter included in front since we enabled it in the scanner. There is a whole list of commands in section 6.3 of the reference manual. You can send not only text messages, but also LED and beeper commands, cursor control commands, font selection commands, and clearing the display commands. This is just a brief overview of two-way communication.